So I'm getting ready to tighten this barrel down to the um, 150 foot pounds, and I'm, I'm you can see that I'm jacked up here. I'll probably go through and show you the procedure, but that's not the important part because you've seen that before. But I realized with this stack of cases here, I've got an unprecedented chance to uh, find out how much the headspace changes on this thing when I go from zero, which is what it's at now, to 150 foot-pounds. I've got these cases ranging through a parameter. I've started turning necks and setting up... Boy, this light over here is weird and I'm sorry. I'll get out of here just as soon as I can, but I needed to get an eye on the setup here so that we could see... I think I will back it up a little bit. Um, I do want you to see... Yeah, well. It's not about this. It's about the fact that I'm going to crank this bad boy down. I kind of wanted to show off my adjustable bracket here that I'm using for uh, chasing the recoil lug around. This thing's got a little recoil lug from a... It's a Savage setup. So... We're going to chase this down. We're going to give it our 150, which is just going to take a second. And I don't even know... Yeah, I'll go ahead and give it the full treatment here. I'll weigh it and do the whole thing. Because I'm curious how this particular barrel is going to advance in this thread pattern. Um, savage thread. I don't, don't do a lot of savages. So... I think there's a 20 threads per inch. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick my leverage bar on there. Whoa! Knocking stuff off the ceiling. Grab my bow scale. You've seen this before. Reach up out of the camera. Give her a laugh. Advancing nicely. I gotta see where I'm at here. Lighting's a little funky. Okay, there we are. We're good. That is exactly 50 foot pounds on this guy. And now what I can do is uh, I can check some headspace. And find out. We know what we wrote down before, or I know what we wrote down before, and uh, it's going to be, this is just one of those little experiments I've never actually done before, even though I've talked about it many times. Like how cool would it be to find out how much it changes from zero to 150, well from hand tight to 150 pounds, because I throw these things together, I just put them tight with my hand on the barrel and my hand on the action. This is one of those things where you got to be a little bit fanatic like myself to even care one way or the other. But I've never actually, normally when I'm barreling something up, I don't have any fire form cases for it. I can't, the whole apparatus doesn't really lend itself well to checking this kind of stuff. So this is a situation where, weirdly enough, I've made up a bunch of cases. I can go to here. I can take the case that fit in there before, and I'm going to presume that now it won't fit. I'm thinking we've tightened her down enough that these cases hang up on my first shoulder. Uh, I don't want to force it. I could. I could feel it starting to because I've rolled these edges just a little bit as it is. So I go to the next one down, 42. It hasn't changed near... Yes, 42 is looser than it was. It hasn't changed nearly as much as I thought it would. 54 is still probably the case I'm going to be choosing. To, 
I don't know why I'm zooming in. You don't give a rat's patootie about this. There's that big old 102 grain, 1002 grain bad boy. And so that's pretty cool. And the next big question is going to be, I'm going to swing over here so you can see just a little bit more of what I'm, nah, I'm not even going to do that. There's just not really a whole lot more to say about what we've done right here. All I wanted to do was take this opportunity to say, hey, here's something I've never done before. See if you're interested in this. I'm going to hand tighten this down to where I set all these headspace numbers. And then go ahead and crank it down to 150 and see how much the numbers changed. And frankly, it didn't change. It advanced, as you can see, all the way to here, from here. It advanced its normal amount. It's right on the index point that I had marked there. Everything is right on the nuggets. But it didn't change the headspace dimension as much as I predicted it would in my bread. I was thinking that I'd lose at least a thou. And I can tell you for flat out fact that I did not. With all that crush and all that tightening, it did not advance the headspace. It got tight enough that I didn't want to force that particular round in because I didn't want that round to get like crimped on the end. Even though there's very little propensity for crimping on this thing. Because of the fact that I've got square cut shoulders in there. But there we go. There's the... I'm not even going to bring this around and bore you with any more. I just wanted to show you that. That's the only thing. And... Uh, I'm going to shut this bad boy off and move on to the next phase, which is fitting cases so that they headspace correctly with a bullet in. Turn them. Anyway, this is the fun part. I'll let you know about it. Then we'll go shoot some. I don't know if I'll be able to shoot tonight. It's about 10 o'clock. Um, again, it's uh, my family is out and about and doing the kind of things that they wanted to do this evening. So... I don't think I'm getting anybody coming home for a half hour, an hour. I might get something else done. I might even pop one out the window, but I really don't think so. I'm down to turning for clearance, loading up. I'm ready to rock, though. Maybe I'll get a chance to shoot tomorrow night.